Uh, next agenda item three is the Lowndes County case REZ 2012-19. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sorry the projector cut up on that last case. We'll see if we can get it going. But uh, the subject property again on this one is a request to go from uh, approximately two acres of EA or state agricultural to CG or general commercial. The use that the applicants have mentioned and put in their packet in writing is for a Dollar General retail store. So with that, that will be allowed in the CG zone. Staff's recommendation has been completed, and since Monday, I think the only updates I would offer you is that they did submit what I believe is a final letter of intent. I tried to give you a hard copy and also distributed that electronically for you, but beyond that, don't have any updates about phone calls or information, and I believe it's ready for your recommendation tonight. Are there any questions for staff from the commission? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. Name is Clayton Milligan with Level Engineering at 3998 Inner Perimeter Road. Um, we're on the Level Engineering, we're representing Fairmore Development in this project and happy to answer any questions you might have regarding this development. Okay, do we have any questions? Thank you, Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. Uh, my name is Matthew Richard. I live at uh, 5569 Upper Grand Bay Road. Uh, I'm simply a resident of this rural, tiny rural community. Um, I, uh, I moved to the country for uh, because of the values that I hold for peace and quiet, and uh, you know, gazing at uh, the stars at night, and uh, just for you know, an undeveloped life. Uh, I look around this area of Georgia, and I see sprawl everywhere I, I look. I, I just uh, I noted that there are $18 generals already in this area. Uh, surrounding Naylor, we have a tiny, tiny community of fewer than uh, 3,500 3, residents. And I, I have a couple of questions. I was wondering if a market survey had been conducted. Uh, I wondered if, if traffic contingency uh, plans have been drawn up for this. And I also um, wonder if uh, provisions for trees uh, to, to be planted around the uh, area have been made. I, uh, yeah, this to me this is, uh, you know, I don't understand why people would compromise, uh, you know, the, their, the values of uh, peace and quiet and, and uh, rural living for a little bit of convenience when we have 18 of these Dollar General stores surrounding us. All right, do we have any questions for this paper? Yeah, for Mr. Wild. How, how close is your residence to this property? I live in the, uh, in the back of that field right there. Dr. Richards, there's a laser pointer at the very top. Of the on the podium, sir? At the top of the uh, cotton field. Thank you, you can see it shining in that there. That's, that's my uh, Of course, I'd be concerned about, you know, declining property values. <laughs> but that's, that's not the primary. Overdevelopment, uh, unnecessary development. Furthermore, you know this country, this corporation is headquartered in Tennessee, and uh, you know any 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 uh, development dollars that are generated are not going to help this this area. There's already a convenience store right next door. It's gone out of business once. That was why I asked about the uh, marketing survey. Um, I don't think Dollar General is going to help that that business at all. And they're locally owned. Okay. Do we Thank have you. any other questions for the speaker? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Rick. Thank you. 